Hello, hello. Happy Monday. Let me get this pulled up on the iPad. If it'll work for me tonight, we, we will see. We've been having some internet issues, so if I lose you, I apologize. Oh, there it is right there. Make sure it's turned down. Hi, Joni. Welcome. Sorry for the up-close and personal view here. All right. Whoops. I guess it helps if I spell it right. There we go. Let me get that pinned. Pin comment. You know, until I started this 31 days of live, I didn't know how to uh, pin a comment. So I'm getting better. Hello, Julie. How are you? Let's see. Okay, let's see. I want to do one more thing here real quick. Come on. There we go. Okay, and let's see if I can do one more. No, I can't. Nope. All right, I guess that will be good enough. How is everyone today? Good, I'm good. Thank you, Joni, I appreciate it. So for anyone who may be new, hello, Margie. Hi, Shelly, thank you. Um, my name is Linda Anderson. I own Aqueous Silk and I do water marbling. And I am on day 18. I'm over halfway through October. 18, um, day 18 of 31. I'm going live every day in October. And it's my birthday month, so I thought I'd celebrate with all of you. And I'm going to be giving away three prizes this month. One is already gone. And so we don't know when I'm going to do it. So I'm asking that you uh, like and follow my page. Uh, comment on my lives and um, sprinkle out the video. So those are the things I'm asking. And then you can uh, be eligible for the prizes. We have two more left. So you never know when I'm going to do it. So I hope everyone had a great Monday. I am so glad to be home and back uh, to my creative world. It is so... Um, difficult for me to make the transition from a weekend of cre creativity to the office. People are grumpy sometimes because it's Monday and um, it's just not nearly as much fun. I do get to help people. I shouldn't say it's terrible, but I do get to help people who are in situations that um, they didn't expect to find themselves in sometimes so soon or even if they knew it was coming, it's difficult to navigate. So that part of it is okay. It's just like, I'd rather be doing this every day, every day. So if there is no live button right here, that means you are watching a replay. Go ahead and hashtag replay. Hi, Angie. Hi, Colleen. And I'll come out and say hi. Now, it's been taking me sometimes a day or so because I just have not been stopping. I've been go, 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 go from the time I get up to the time I go to bed. I did sit up a little too late last night because I just needed to decompress a little before going to bed or I won't sleep. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, and if you want to get notifications when I'm going live, touch anywhere on the screen and there will be three little dots that come up right here. This is backwards for me, guys. And touch those dots and turn on your live notifications and then you'll find out, uh, then you'll know every time I go live. So tonight, um, we're going to, it probably won't be super quick and it probably no, won't be super long. I'm going to marble two hats and I just cleaned the bathtub and the 
guest room is all ready. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Delma. I guess I could put my glasses on and actually see the words. Yes, Delma. And um, now I've got to rinse the hats in there and hang them to dry. But she'll be okay if there's a little bit of paint in the bottom. It'll wash away when she showers. But I was in there yesterday after our live and I was scrubbing and scouring. I emptied out all my stuff. Well, not all of it. But I, um, a lot of my stuff out that was scattered all over her room and um, got it all ready for her because I was thinking tonight when I got home, just a few more days and she'll be here. So that will be fun. I'm just looking forward to that. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'm, I bought some new paint this weekend. I have some friends who paint and um, actually on things other than water. And they use this um, Ceram Coat, the Delta Creative Ceram Coat. And I was listening to them talk about that. And so I thought, I wonder if I can marvel with that. So we're going to run a test today. We'll do that after I'm done marbling the hats. And, oh yeah. I was going to say I didn't bring baggies in, but I do have baggies. So I have everything set up. Um, okay, no problem, Jenny. No problem. You know as well as I do, a replay is just as good as a live for us, as long as people treat it just like a live. But I'm going to try these tonight. I have a piece of fabric. I have a little tray that I put some of the old water in. I've got brand new water in my um, hat bin and um, we'll see what happens. I have a piece of fabric here that we're going to try to... Hi Rachel! Congrats to your son on their win. That's really exciting. I was happy to see that. Um, we'll see how it does. We'll see. Rachel, in case you missed it, I'm trying the Ceram Coat tonight. I bought two bottles. This is the smallest bottle I could get, so I got it. Hey, Angela. Welcome. So we're going to do a little bit of testing. So um, I know what the things look like. I should have brought that in here. I have a t-shirt that I tested. And, oh, let me go get it so I can just show you. So this is one of my test shirts. So there's the state of Idaho. And if you look closely, the color has, you probably can't see. I don't wanna, let me turn this. I don't know which, which way to move it when it's backwards. Anyway, the paint has bled outside the lines. And then I also did the back and um, this I just it was in the bathroom on the counter it had been dried uh, I did it quite a while ago and I just tossed it in when I was doing some towels this is another thing that bothers me right here do you see this bar of white it was wrinkled when I put it on the water and it needs something to keep it nice and firm Excuse me, but anyway, that's that's uh, what I was trying to do. So I need to figure out how to keep that. I think I've come up with a way to keep it from bleeding, but I haven't tried it yet. So, and then also when I rinsed it, it all faded along or kind of bled into the bottom. I don't know, the lighting's really bad. So maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. So, um, I don't know if this one will fit me or not, but it might make a good um, pajama shirt. So, we'll see. So, I'll just put that over here. But, yeah, I mean, that's been washed. I just threw it in with my towels. Hello, Sue. 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 Welcome. Um, 
just threw it in with the towels and washed it just like I've washed my towels on warm so the the paint does not come off and um, I have more more testing to do on my t-shirts I'm determined to make it happen so but without further yik yakking let's um, I'll point you down and we'll get started with the hats I think since I've been on a Halloween theme lately I think I'm gonna go well I just may have gotten another idea hi Linda how are you um now I think I was gonna I think I'll just go ahead and do um, uh, lost totally lost my train of thought do a Halloween hat because I want to then do um, a black bat and put it on one side of it and bling that out so that's one of them the second one is open for debate tell me what colors we want to see and I am going to bling it some I haven't decided what I want to put on it yet oh my nose is itching tonight so let me turn you down here it's gonna wiggle a minute look away if this bothers you hi Kim how are you it's so hard for me to do this when it's backwards let's see is that a good view maybe bring it up just a little no it went the wrong way all right okay let's test that I'm waiting for my iPad to catch up to make sure you can see So I'm trying to see I've got that one corner that's not in here so I don't know if, no turn it the other way and see if it gets more into the photo or into the frame I just don't know how far behind it is well I'm gonna leave it there for a minute I'm gonna grab the newsprint Well, that's not too bad you can see the entire um, the entire uh, surface because down here is I think where it gets tight but you can still see it no nope, that's the wrong way it's so hard when it's backwards but we're gonna go with this and again, if I miss your comments, okay, thank you, Angela. If I miss your comments, I will come back and look at them. I have um, all of the pumpkin cards put together. I just need to do the inside and I need to cut some more of them. So there, I just took the bubbles off the top of the water oops I can't use the uh, big comb in here because there's not enough area so let's see we want to use And in case anyone missed it this is my hat that I'm going to be blinging I'm gonna put um, a heart on it and bling it out I haven't done it yet because I've been working so diligently on getting these cards done and then I want to get that quilt done right now I have um, the quilt uh, the design wall over the entryway so every time I go up the steps I have to um, crawl under where the display the quilt wall is and it's hard on your knees so purple orange yellow okay 
I might need a little bit more yellow. Let's see if I have one in one of the little containers. I will try to remember to speak up when I turn away. And now I'm not gonna put any black in this one because the bat is gonna be black. And I don't want any of the, um... oh, thank you, Shelly, I love it too. Hi, Cindy, welcome. So I'm not gonna put any black in this because the bat will take care of that. I really want it to stand out when I put it on there. And we'll cut that out of vinyl. Hey, Marina, how are you? Whoops. So we're just dropping the paint onto the surface of the water. As you've heard me say before, or unless you're new, um, the more paint that's on the surface, the um, more intense your colors are going to be. So I start out with a nice base of white. It's so interesting that different brands, if I use the other brand, which I don't have a good purple in, um, I can't, it just looks different on the surface of the water. So we're going to use some orange. I will wear my hat, this hat, on Halloween unless somebody wants it when it gets done. And then I'll go ahead and sell it. I have um, a dress that I've made for Halloween. I made that some time ago. And I made it in the when I lived in the desert. And it's a sweatshirt because it, I was just new to the desert. And I thought, oh, it has to be a warm, cozy dress. It's something I could get away with wearing to work. But um, it had to be warm and cozy. And yeah, down there, it, you didn't wear it. So now that I'm up here, I can wear it when it's chilly. Although we're going to be near 70 this week. The mornings are nice and cool, though. Okay, and now just we want just a little bit of purple. Oh, is it? It doesn't look like there's a very clear picture. Can everyone see? All right, I didn't want a whole ton of purple in there, just a little bit. So let me grab a skewer. And here's a bubble right here. We don't like bubbles. Oh, good. Thank you. It was all blurry on my end, for, but it's probably my internet. Good. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate that. So let's, uh, let's do the back and forth kind of like this this time. Ugh. This is just the perfect way to end the day. I have two orders. To, once packed, I just need to label it. Well, they're actually both packed. I just need to print the labels and get those ready to send out tomorrow. So that's exciting. So there is that. Oh, I'm almost tempted to do that, but let's... Put a little motion in this. I'm just touching the tip of this skewer to the surface. So ordinarily when I do a hat, it's just very um, free form. And I did this, um, they are $18, no, excuse me. They're $18 if you marble it. But since you're not here, they're $20 um, to a mar uh, custom marbled one. If you want bling, they're 35. Bling is expensive. So I think that's what I want to use. Let me get the um, rinse bucket over here and we can talk colors. So 
I'm all out if you like the brim that's straight, the flat ones, not the curved ones. I'm all out of those. All right. So let's do it kind of like this. I feel like the lighting is really bad in here tonight, and I don't know why. I really, really love this uh, little curly cue right there. Can you see that on the brim? All right, so now I'm gonna put it in the rinse bucket. Oh, I really like this one. I do like the way it turned out. Sorry, I keep talking. Oh, is it frozen? Oh no. Thank you guys. All right, let me dry my hands and I'll get a baggie and get this put in a baggie. So then I'm gonna cut the bat and put it on the front. And it'll be nice and black so it will, well, it'll be black so it will stand out. All right, let me get a baggie. Oh, that worked well. Oh, I very much love this. Into the baggie it goes. And then I'm going to just go set it in the sink in Ashley's room. Ashley's bathroom. Guys, I even had paint on the light switch in the bathroom. As I was cleaning, I was just like, good grief. That's what happens when you're having fun. Sometimes you can get messy. Okay, move the rinse bucket out of the way. And the rinse bucket is just filled with regular tap water. We can't use tap water here for the um, size because we are on a well. And there's too many metals that are in there it will mess with the it'll mess with the paint and it might not want to float so has everyone been thinking about what colors we should do the next hat now there's still some paint in here it's under the water and it won't hurt anything at all My iPad keeps jumping. Hopefully it's not doing that for you. Hopefully it's just me and our terrible rural internet. So one thing I do miss about living in a more metropolitan area is really good internet service. red and green or not because um, I did think about that because red is sometimes just not very it doesn't play nice I guess I could do it though I could try it let's see here's my red I've got the white where's my green All right, let's do one turquoise. Oh, I love the turquoise ones. They turn out so pretty. Because I could do... Oh, where's my other one? Here it is. I could do red and turquoise or I could do a Christmas 
themed one. Yeah, this looks a little bit more blue on the screen than it is here. It's definitely a teal. So, or the red and green and white. What do you think? Anybody have a preference? Shall we vote red, teal, and white? Or red, white, and green? Let me know what your preference is, and I'll put the yellows and the orange and the purple away. Okay, let's see. Do we have any, any preferences? Flexible, whichever is best, blues and greens. Help me out, guys. Because I was thinking about, um, hi, Joyce. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. I appreciate it. Blue. Yeah, blues are, are pretty popular. Green, red, and white. There's That's the second one for green, red, and white. Blues and greens. Probably won't do that one tonight. Turquoise, blue and white. Purples, we're not gonna do purples tonight. I used the purple already. It's either, it's either red, white, and teal or red, white, and green. Green, red, and white. Okay, there's the third for the Christmas colors. So what I'm gonna do, instead of using white first, I mean, yeah, instead of using white first, I'm gonna use the red, because we wanna make sure that gets pushed. And before I start that, I want to, there's a bunch of bubbles right here, and I wanna get those out of there. I didn't set the water out this morning. I brought it in as soon as I got home. And so it has not yet warmed up to room temperature. So that's kind of some of the issues that I have. Okay, all right, now let's get started. Because you want the red to get pushed so it does not look pink. Luckily for me, the um, if it does look pink, I won't be terribly upset because I'm a pink person. But that's not what we're trying to do. See, watch how red this gets as that white is pushing on it. I was thinking of doing um, like a red and white one with a candy cane on it, you know, in, in bling. But I don't know if it would show up enough. All right, that red looks pretty red. So now on this one, I am just going to freeform. Oh, you know what I could do? If there's a good spot, I could do a, a tree. And every now and then, I could in, you know, put in a different color, like it's a Christmas ball on it, if I wanted to bling it out. So we are just going to move this paint all around. I wanna pull in that red from the edges. And 
definitely want to break up some of these big green spots. Oh, look, that's kind of a heart right there. I think we'll leave that spot alone. What do you think of that? Do you like that? Does it look good? Did I move it enough? All right. Okay, there's two. Great. Okay, guys. Now remember to um, sprinkle out this video. So I'm going to try to capture that heart right here on the brim of the hat. So it's right there in the center. Can you see it? Is the lighting decent? I feel like the lighting is terrible tonight and I don't know why. And I think there's enough white on this side over here that I could do something. Hello, Cindy. And I forgot to move the uh, rinse bucket over here. I'm getting some of the paint off my hands. All right. Dry my hands off. What do you think? Did you like that one? I could make hats all day long. I love hats and I have a show in December so any hat that um, is still around by then it'll just be inventory so I can sell it there thank you guys for the hearts into the bag it goes And I'll take it in and put it in the sink. I don't know. I feel like this light is its in the same spot it always is. I'm going to scoot it around a little if I can to see if that's a little bit better. I just feel like it's so dark in here today, and I'm not sure why. All right, let me go set this in the sink. As soon as I got that all cleaned out in there yesterday, I thought, oh great, I get to mess it up again. Yay me. All right, so let me clean this out. And red is always interesting to get out. We'll see if it wants to come out or not. badly this water is so much thicker than the old water it it gradually gets thinner and it gradually um, doesn't behave as nicely so 
this is good. Just wipe it off the side of the container. All right. So now I'm going to very carefully set this down on the floor. Oh, it's super heavy. There we go. Success. And then I'm going to slide this over. Now this is simply a baking pan. Oh, maybe. That might be. Colleen, you may be right. All right, so I'm getting a couple cups here. Now I've shaken this up. Now we're going to be we're going to be scientists. Don't tell my daughter who is an actual scientist. But we're going to we're going to play scientist. So I'm going I have this ceram coat. This is pumpkin. So I'm just gonna mix this in a cup. No, this is probably two inches deep. Here's a, a small popsicle stick and it's probably about half the depth of that. I bet it's only about two inches deep. It doesn't have to be deep. If you're just working with cloth or paper, you only need a little bit because you're only using the surface. I put mine on a deeper one because I do hats and you know I like when I'm working the big tank each time you clean it you pull out some of the uh, the size and so the level does go down boy that is a pumpkin color so let's see how thick this paint is Oh yeah, that's pretty thick. So I'm gonna just put a little bit in there. This is all I have in the cup. Cause we're just going to experiment. So I brought, again, we can't use um, tap water for this. So I had just used um, my Costco bottled water. And so we will thin this down. I'm just stirring it up. The paint needs to be about the consistency of 2% um, milk is what they say. And what I've noticed when I'm mixing my paints, when I use um, the heavy body paints, the, the high quality paints, it looks like it's all mixed up, but it's really not because it's sitting on the bottom of the cup. So I try to mix it really, really well. All right. Some of my supplies out here. Got my droppers, so let me move this over here. Got to be careful here. lid on this. So now stir this up and then I brought out the droppers because we're going to try dropping this one. 
looks like to, but I'm not gonna drop it until I get the white done. So let's start the white. I shook it, but let me shake it a little bit more since it's been sitting there a minute. Last night I started to look for my bottles. I have some new bottles to put the, the paint in that likes to splash all over when I um, shake the bottle and I can't find them. I know they're somewhere. <clears throat> When I came back from crafters convention, um, I was trying to hurry and get things packed up. Scott and Chris were just delightful in helping me. And a couple of their friends were helping me um, pack everything up. So I usually am pretty methodical about where things are, but I just wanted to get it packed up so they didn't have to stick around. And for me to be particular. So I know they're there, it's there somewhere. I just have to find it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I'm trying to get this plastic off the top. All right, let me rinse my hand a little bit. Now, I'm fairly certain I can get this to float. It's the way it looks on the cloth that I'm concerned about. Is there enough pigment in this to look nice and hold up? All right. Okay, there's a little dollop of white. So let's add a little bit of water. I brought extra water just in case. The other popsicle stick. And if I get it too runny, I can always just get a little bit more. I can actually just dip the popsicle stick into the paint and just add a little bit more. mixing this up really well I think this behaves better after it has set for a while I could easily do paper in this pan if I wanted to But if you know me, I always like to have like, you don't just do one, you have to do several of the same paper. Okay. Oh, mine's frozen up on this end. Is, is it okay out there? Just mixing it up really well. All right, let me get a dropper. Oh, good. I'm still pouring the white paint in the cup on my end. So, and these are what come in your marbling kits, are just these droppers. See, look at there, it's floating. And what I did not do before I started this was clean the surface of the water. But see how it's leaving little white spots? That means it's either not mixed very well or I just need a little bit more liquid with it. So I will have to let this completely disperse before I print. I'll show you what happens if you don't. So these are canvases that I did, and I used a pink. And to me, to me, they look a little, um, a little like boobs. I don't know how else to say it. 
that's because that pink did not disperse all the way. So I did not correctly mix that color. It did a little bit better on this one. Now this one has a design that you can see underneath it. This is, these canvases were over marbled and it just shows in three spots on here and a little bit more on this one. But these are just stretched canvas. This is the one, these are the best stretched canvases that I've, uh, I've been able to do yet. That's a, that's a tough one for me. And we're still dispersing this paint. Oh, and you can see I just leaned on the table. So let's go ahead and try the orange. So I can't see. Oh, good. Okay. In comments, I don't know if they're still moving or not, but... Okay, it is floating. Rachel, if you're still here, this is the ceram coat. And see how it's pushing that white back together? Now, if I like this, oh, maybe, yeah, that's a good thought. I, I was kind of embarrassed about it, going, oh my, that's not, that was not my intent. So let me put a little bit more white in. I feel you have a lot more control with a dropper than the bottles. I'm gonna do this a couple times. See, now I don't know what, there's a dark around and then there's these little bubbles or little circles in here. I don't know what they're from. And it could just be that the paint has not had a chance to blend nicely with the water. And the paint and the water are different temperatures. So I'm just coming through and popping these bubbles <laughs> oh, you know, I did a piece of fabric with that on it that I want to switch out the back panel of my denim jacket, and I haven't because of that. So maybe, maybe I could do that. So let's uh, move this around. I have so many ideas. I have so many more ideas than I have time that it's not even funny. Again, this will be just a test piece and I'm doing it on um, quilt fabric. So if I like it, I can incorporate, because I think I just have little miscellaneous pieces to work with here tonight. All right, so let's see. Let me scoot the rinse bucket back over here. Now I wish I would have uh, purchased a couple other colors. Okay, this is just a little piece. Let's see what else, other sizes I have over here. Here we go, here's some small ones. Actually, I'm not even 100% sure that these aren't just scraps from cutting and they're not even prepped yet. 
So let's see if I can find one that will fit there. No. Now see, if you can see this line right here, I put it in where there was already no paint. This piece had already taken that paint and up along the, the side of the pan, there's no paint. But that's okay because that's selvage and we wouldn't use that anyway. So let's see what this looks like. Let's see what happens when I put it in the rinse water. It does not look to be rinsing out. Let me get a baggie. Yeah, it doesn't look to be rinsing out. So let me take the other one off. So right here, can you see this spot right there? That's a piece of paint that did not disperse all the way. Boy, that does look like a pumpkin color, doesn't it? It's not an orangey orange. Yeah, all the other pieces that I had over here, I think these are actually down here from um, when I the last time I cut dog bandanas. That oh, that one looks nice. Okay, let me dry my hands. Actually, I think I would call that more of a squash. I guess a pumpkin is a squash, but it's a very yellowy orange. I think I saw um, Michelle on Wilds Creek and Company painting with this color. Looks like it did well. Oh, I'm excited. This is um, a much less expensive paint and it was easy for me to get it to float. And this is on old water. So I will zip that up so water doesn't go everywhere. Well, that's it guys. Let me uh, see if I can see the comments. Yeah, sometimes you can't always tell because the water will kind of take the um, color of either the paint that was in it last or this, you know, gray. So it's going to, it looks orange here, not as orange as it did come out on the, um, on the fabric. That's okay, Colleen. Grandchildren are important. Hi, Ramona. <laughs> oh, I want to, Marina. I can't tell you how bad I want that to happen. Yeah, I, I want to try it on paper. I had some paper that was uh, prepped, but I cleaned, and now I don't know where it went. That's always what happens to me. If I clean and put things away, then I never know where things go. So let me bring the, let me move the rinse bucket so I don't trip over it and fall. Let me bring the camera up. Look away if this is going to bother you. Hey, up close and personal. Oh, not enough, though. Sorry, guys. I'm almost too short to re reach clear across here. Okay. Is it falling? No, it looks good. Okay. Thank you so much for being with me as I experimented. I appreciate that. Oh, look away from the closet door. Closet's a mess. Things got shoved in the closet. 
but I appreciate that and it did work I am so thrilled that it did you know I'm never never quite sure again I don't know how it's gonna look once I um, it gets rinsed one more time does its drying and I press it that's when we're gonna find out and then I will put it in um, a bowl of I use baby shampoo to wash my silk I don't wash my cotton that way but I'm gonna try it and see what happens hi Holly and um, we'll see what happens I'll see what the results are but this is uh, this is the test pieces with new paint testing new paint tonight so it, it did work. I'm just thrilled by that. And uh, hopefully that will open up uh, a little bit more economical uh, paint for me. And it was easy for me to mix. So anybody who buys my kits, then I can send them in that direction. And it's not as costly as um, the paints I usually use. Some of those are $15 for a tiny little bottle, just a tiny little bottle. So um, it's great paint. I have great success with it, but um, it gets it gets so expensive. You know, you spend six or seven hundred dollars just on paint, and then if you if you're out in the heat and then in the cool, all of that degrades your paint, and so it's a lot of money to have to replace. So uh, that's all I have for tonight. I hope you've had a good time. I'll post photos of the hats when they are dry. And uh, hopefully I won't make too big a mess in my daughter's bathtub since I just, I used an entire um, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. <laughs> I near just wore that thing out last night. But I hope you enjoyed it tonight. And I will see you tomorrow night, 7 p.m. And I don't know what we're doing yet, but I'll think of something between now and then. Have a wonderful Tuesday. I thank each and every one of you for being here. It means a lot to me. I know you have a lot of options of where you can spend your time. So thank you, and I'll see you later. Bye.